With this video, I'll explain how to take off and land in the F-15C in Falcon BMS. First, a couple things before you take off is to make sure that you're in ADI mode, which is the nav mode. It has the maximum amount of information on your HUD when it comes to navigation. Make sure you know where the flap switch is. In the down position, it's in the auto position. It'll automatically retract and extend based on your speed. If you click it, right click it to the up position, which is the off position, your flaps will retract and will be off. They will not go up and down automatically. Let's go ahead and put that back down in the auto position. It'll go to yellow, then it'll go to green, making sure to, to tell you that they're down. If you're wanting to use air traffic control, make sure you're on, you're on uniform two. You can right click or left click to go up and down. Press T, press taxi for departure. Now it told me to go to 2 niner, so I'm going to go to 2 niner. Put this in my HSI to make it a little bit easier to see where I need to go. Seems like I need to make a left here. So I'll see you all at the runway. Approaching the runway, ground told me to contact tower. I'm going to go to uniform 3. Press T twice and press ready for departure. Hold me to hold short. I'm going to go over a few things here. So on the left here, that's your angle of attack and units. When you're taking off, you don't want to go above 22 degrees or 22 units here. That means that your uh, angle of attack is high and you may tail strike your, your engines and it'll damage your aircraft. So when you lift up from the ground, make sure you're doing it softly and smoothly so you don't go above 22 units on your angle of attack. And of course this is your speed tape here so make sure you're looking at that as well. On the aircraft I have full fuel with two bags. I have 21,500 pounds of fuel. I do have AMRAMs or a typical air-to-air -air loadout which you will most likely have in the F-15. I'm going to go to my my page for weapon page here. See so you have all AMRAMs there. It's a very typical loadout when it comes to the F-15C. If you're ready to take off, go ahead and press T twice, press ready for departure, and it'll force the air traffic control to kind of put you on the runway. Make sure you're in ADI mode, nav mode, to have maximum navigation information on your HUD. Make sure your flaps are down. And as you're going down the runway, make sure you hit the paddle switch on the stick to make sure that you Temporarily disable your nose wheel steering so you won't veer off the runway. Here I, am, here I am at the center of the runway. Throttle up to mill. Make sure my engines are good. They are good. I'm going to go on the burner. Burner. Let go of the brakes. And I'm off. Speed tape comes alive. Hold the paddle switch. Adjust with your rudder pedals accordingly. Based on the speed, I could start going up at 190 knots, 200 knots, the jet comes up, put the gear up, make sure your gear is up, flaps are going up, and there's an easy takeoff in the F-15. So now I'm going to land the F-15C. Right now you can't, went through your mission, you have less fuel. Right now I have, thir or correction, 4,400 pounds of fuel. That's about the amount of fuel you'll have on the way down. I'm going to line up with the runway and do an overhead brake. Overhead brakes are usually at 350 knots at 1,500 feet above the airfield. So since there's an island here, I'm going to give about 200 feet of, of uh, clearance there. So I'm going to go at about 1,700 feet. Landing on runway 29, make sure you're in ADI mode, make sure your flaps are in automatic and down position. Going to go over the runway here, there's the runway, going to go into my brake. To pull about 3 G's or so, it should be about 10% of your airspeed, so I'm going 350, so I should pull about 3 G's, which is this number right here, it says 3, so I turned all the way around, looking at the runway. It is right where my wingtip is, so I'm in the right spot. I'm going to make sure I'm at least 45 degrees away from the runway before I turn base. I'm going to turn base right now. Once I hit 250 knots, I'm going to lower my landing gear. 
That's 250. Landing gear lowered. Continuing the turn. So now I'm lining up for final. I'm gonna put the airplane velocity vector, velocity vector right on the end of the runway. I usually like to put out my speed brake a little bit so I can have that that uh that drag once I touch down. Continuing in. Make sure that you're not above the 22 knot or 22 units on your angle of attack right there. I'm slowing down, slowing down. A little bit of power pulling up. There's touchdown. And if you, you can pull up, put out your speed brakes again. Make sure you want to aero brake. Make sure you're above at least 20 units to effectively aero brake. And before you touch down, make sure you hold your paddle switch so you won't veer off the runway if you use your rudder pedals. So I'm holding down my paddle switch, and I'm on the ground, start braking, and exit the runway when able. And that's pretty much it for the F-15.